without being a good website, but most importantly, it's hard to be below 15 and not be very shitty. Gotcha. <laughs> so this really helps uh, evaluate because sometimes you know there are mirrors and sometimes they confuse majestic or ray traps. But if the DA is below 15, then basically it's a weak domain. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And one more question about um, when you're looking at the backlink profile of a domain. Uh, we've talked about referring domains and some other metrics, and I also you know you showed us that you're looking at the domains that are linking to that domain. Um, but do you? Aside from looking at the domain that the link is coming from, do you look for relevance in any other way? Are you looking at you know keywords and um, linking page titles, things like that, interpage URLs? Or are you mainly just looking at the domain the link is coming from? I uh, will try to look at the links mostly to determine uh, what the website was about when we evaluate a domain, because uh, actually it's easier to see what the website was about based on the link then uh, based on archive.org, which is super slow. Mm -hmm. So the links you, you look at anyway, so you can check the links. But uh, as our domains uh, have almost entirely natural links, uh, it's uh, actually, they're, they're always relevant. A natural link is always relevant. There cannot be a natural link that is not relevant. Mm -hmm. Because someone put it, puts it there as a genuine recommendation for something, so it's always relevant. Even if the website is about something else, there's always some connection right. because it's a natural link. Mm -hmm. So the, the domains with natural links, they have 100% uh, relevancy because it's, it's how it works. Right. Gotcha. Um, um, yeah. Do you have any more questions? Well, basically, I think... Um, I'd like to hear, and I think the viewers like to hear a little bit more about SEO domains as well. You know, we've covered the fact that you've got, did you say 300,000 sites in inventory? We have, uh, we, we have 300 million websites in the database. 300 million. And, 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 <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. So data on 300, database. that's insane, yeah. And uh, we monitor those, mm -hmm. and when they, when they go near uh, expiration, we do the evaluation process. We decide mm -hmm. uh, after which... Uh, uh, we are after which we are, once we are going to catch then we do priorities mm -hmm. because sometimes it's worth uh, bidding in an auction and other times it's not sometimes it's worth placing placing an expensive back order and not other times it's just worth trying to catch the domains yourself for cheap sure but uh, our uh, catching ourselves for cheap is like uh, one sec one second or something delay right. so it's like yeah. uh, <laughs> it, boom, it's boom. not yeah. that uh, we leave it to the scrapers if we sure. want it we want it and we either get it or someone with a better technology or more investments gets it. But if it, a, a domain that we, that we chose to catch never never will never get into scrapers' hands ever. So, in so. aspects to being a registrar, um, you know, I would say you're probably pretty niche down as a registrar. Correct? You're the only one really basing this off metrics that apply to the SEO community. I mean, there's not many of y'all uh, out there at, at this level, is there? Uh, we are registrar actually in some TODs. We are registrar more than once, so mm -hmm. we have I think about 50 accreditations across different TODs. Mixed. Okay. We, we are an icon registrar, so theoretically we would be should be able to chase .com, but we we have very very limited uh, uh, chance, so we haven't okay. tried it. Uh, Dropcatch.com has uh, thousand registrars. Snapnames has about 500. Mm -hmm. so, so imagine the competition for catching right. uh, .com. Uh, each registrar cost to cost to icon. Eight thousand dollars initially, and four thousand mm -hmm. uh, each year, only in fees. So imagine right. the, the cost of maintaining Dropcatch.com. It's uh, it's uh, it's four million annually in fees. Right. That's why I can. So so that's that's a very very big industry. Of course, the main focus is not the SEO names, but the good names mm -hmm. that fall. The good right. dot coms that may be worth uh, five figures, a lot mm -hmm. of them. So. But we are good with catching in UK. We are good in catching in a lot of small countries. We do dot .eu. We do Austria, Switzerland, uh, Italy, Ireland, Romania, Ukraine, and a lot of other countries. Denmark, well, so Finland. Currently, it's 50 employees hunting worldwide. Um, you know, it's hard to even imagine like room for expansion on this. But do you have big plans for? Um, additional things you'd be moving on with SEO.domains? 
uh, with SEO.domains, the first uh, the first step will be to uh, right now we have a backend where people can search and filter domains and order them. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll build a. It's already built, but we we haven't uh, sent the, the users their credentials. We are building a user uh, account system, so everyone okay. has an account with their orders and everything. Beautiful. Then at some point, people will be able to pay online uh, instead of j uh, just ordering. Uh, we we don't want people to pay online uh, right now because uh, sometimes pe uh, mm, well, uh, stuff can happen with people buying a domain and then deciding to. Uh, that they don't want the exact domain because of all the CCT of these restrictions sure. and uh, yeah, you know there are some cases. Uh, but uh, after 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 we uh, we get a good uh, process, we'll we'll have uh, online payments. Then we have a, then we we'll have an affiliate program. I'm sure that uh, this will make a lot yeah. of people happy. Very. And and the the next uh, big big step is that uh, we'll have a domain management system. We are registrar, so when we get the right software in place and the right processes uh, after you order a domain you will be able to just receive the domain in your account with us and have no hassle no pushes no transfers just immediately being able to manage your name servers uh, and and in this case it will be just as seamless as uh, buying a dot com from godaddy auctions it will be the right. same a actually better because it will be Way without better. without the weight so mm -hmm. you buy and immediately you have access to the domains in your account. There may be 50 different TLDs. You won't need different registrars. You don't want you need to worry about anything. You you just pay and you get the domains. So this is the final goal. That's very cool. That's very and, exciting. Uh, and and also we'll start a cost price uh, registrar so that every everyone can can uh, have the domains with us at exactly how much it costs with the registry. So dot com for eight dollars and everything mm -hmm. super cheap. And uh, and apart from the cost price register, we'll always also open a marketplace, which will be great for someone who has domains with good names but doesn't know the right way to, to put them for sale. Sure. So uh, right now there are a lot of such small domain owners who don't really want to go through the hassle to list the domains and marketplace and so on. So we'll make a, a registrar marketplace hybrid where you just transfer your doma domains in Mm -hmm. And uh, it gets listed in our marketplace, in every other marketplace, and you just get offers. You can counter offer, accept, and so on. And uh, you can sell your domains with basically doing nothing. Very cool. Um, and the nice part will be that since be uh, since they are with us as registrar, after you sold the domain, you just get your money, and uh, we take care of the transfer because the, the domain is all, all, already with us. That's great. So, uh, you know, you, you said that's what the plans are for SEO domains, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed like maybe Callan's got some other things up his sleeve um, in aspects to other companies or other ventures maybe you're working on? Uh, yeah, ba basically, SEO domains is not a company, it's just a brand of eDoms. So okay. oh, right. yeah. some, of, some yeah. of the stuff I told you is related to, to eDoms. Mm -hmm. But for SEO domains, the best thing will be that people will be able to manage the, the domains they bought with us. Sure. Because uh, right now they are often buying a domain, then they use uh, bad registrars. CCTLDs are kind of a mess, so if you use bad registrars, it's never good. Right. So uh, it's uh, very important that you use the, the best possible registrars. And uh, if we are a registrar, we can provide a great service that uh, bypasses all the problems that CCTLDs are notorious for. Gotcha. Understood. Um, yeah, so I guess we've been going a little bit over an hour now. Um, we don't want to steal all your time, so I guess yeah, we'll start wrapping guy. things yeah, up a little bit. I think someone in the audience might uh, fall asleep or all <laughs> no, 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 this uh, is from gold. too much domain stuff, so <laughs> we uh, can hey, wrap domains. it up and uh, give them a chance to. Uh... Sure, I mean, um, you know, in aspects to wrapping it up, uh, just some basic questions. Yeah, I guess. Uh, um, just a few last questions for you. Um, if you could give, you know, uh, someone who doesn't know much about domains uh, that's looking to purchase domains for whatever reason, PBNs, 301s, money sites, whatever, if you could give them one piece of advice, wh what would that be? Oh, just one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Yes, just right. one concise piece of advice. <laughs> the step well, in the right direction. 
well, if they are starting now, mm-hmm. uh, I, I would say I'll just start slow and learn from your own results and mistakes and so on. Or if you want to start big because you're under pressure for some reason, let's say you work in a company and your boss say, okay, we're starting doing a thousand websites PBN, mm-hmm. you just ask people for help. So uh, there are a lot of people who have some experience in this. Uh, so. Uh, ask people for help that are actually doing it. Don't just uh, read stuff online because right. especially about picking domains, uh, the stuff that's uh, online is mostly uh, either nowhere or it's uh, very shallow. Uh, be- because uh, let's take one of the most popular uh, PBN guides, the Dario Rosser guide at Landzio. Sure. Well so it yeah. has a, a tons of useful, helpful stuff, and when it gets to domains, it goes like, oh, you should pick uh, good domains that are not spammed, and basically that is like a few lines. <laughs> and right. and oh, okay, but where do you get them? Where do you get them for cheap? How do you save right. your uh, time from bidding at thousand auctions? Uh, what should your expectations be about getting a domain with certain power for certain money? Like you, you cannot read about this anywhere. Everyone right. just just skips this. Mm-hmm. And it's quite a big part of building a, a PBN or choosing a domain for a 301 or choosing a domain for a money site. It's a big part because basically you should, uh, okay, now you, you understand that uh, the domain should be good and not spent, but w- w- what about uh, the cash and the time you, you can invest for each domain and uh, what are the right places to buy all of this? It's right. not discussed a lot. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, the best place to learn it is from other people that are doing it. If you cannot okay. read it, then uh, try to learn from experience. Go to other big PBNers or affiliates and, okay, how do you approach this problem, this problem? What should I expect from certain situations? Right. Cool. Thank you. So everybody watching this, if you have PBN qu- or domain questions, go ahead and send <laughs> yeah. Callan a message Callan's on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really? bro, <laughs> even I'm not that I was just joking. I don't want people to say, blow you uh, up. But... Domains. So mm-hmm. I, I guess that you have experts for uh, everything. Uh, I can uh, tell a lot about CCTOD domains, but for, let's say, if, if you want to do auction domains only for some reason, then uh, basically you should uh, go to someone who is experienced with uh, Gold Daddy auctions. Oh, do you, do you want to touch on that real quick? I think it's a very hot topic. I'm sorry. I know we said we're winding down, but... Uh you know, auction domains versus um, expired domains. Um, you know, your honest opinion on, you know, how you, oh, yes. you think the value lies. So, so this is uh, uh, then unfortunately some uh, technical stuff coming again. Right. I no, keep answering the, these questions, but no one ever uh, remembers the answer because it's very technical. So basically mm-hmm. uh, there are two kinds of domains and then one kind falls again into two kinds. Mm-hmm. So you have country domains, and you have .com, .net.org, the global ones. Right. So with the .com, .net.org, the global ones, Google is a registrar, and also it's super easy to check the creation date. But if you're a registrar, it's super, super, super more easy because you have an internal channel for who is queries, which is unlimited. And Google is a registrar for .com, .net.org because they have Google domains, they sell domains. Uh, So what happens is that every .com that Google sees, Google instantly knows the creation date. It's super fast and easy to check, and they have implemented this into the algorithm. So mm-hmm. when a domain .com expires, so it it expires and it's called by drop catch and snap name, so the notorious expired domains, Google sees that it changed owner, even if it had links. If it uh, if it's the creation date is yesterday or one month ago, it did change owner. Google knows this for sure. Right. While if a domain goes through GoDaddy auction, Namejet, Dynadot, Name Zero, another auction. It doesn't expire because the registrar holds it and then mm-hmm. sells it to another user, so it actually doesn't expire. Right. And if you keep the registrar the same day, Google doesn't know it changed owner. So that's the difference between auction and expired domains, but this right. difference only applies to this com network. So on mm-hmm. the other side, the CCTLDs, UKD, all the CCTLDs, Google is not a registrar and it's extremely hard to get the creation date for a lot of domains. And some, some domains, they don't have a creation date. They don't have a creation date in quiz for domains in Germany, for domains in Spain, for domains in Greece, for many other countries. So basically, the Google approach to uh, creation dates uh, in country domains is fuck it. 
we don't want to do this, it's messy, it, it's unbalanced because some have and others don't have, so we just don't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in the, so in this case, Google doesn't know that the owner changed because they don't check it. They don't even try to check if the owner changed. So sure. every domain that is a country domain, by default, it, uh, Google doesn't apply the did owner change or not. So it Google implies that the owner is the same. Right. Uh, just like the dot coms from auctions. So basically you have dot, dot coms from auctions, which are good, and CCTLDs, which are also good, and only the drop domains from drop catch and snap names, only they're the only ones that get devalued. Not gotcha. 100 percent a bit devalued. Mm -hmm. But there's also another uh, another thing to this. The country domains, they have no auctions and no uh, big public lists. While right. GoDaddy Go and Namejet have a very public list. Uh, remember mm -hmm. what I told you that you can investigate what people are doing with those domains because right. the lists are public. Well, they are, they are actually very public. It's a huge one-click downloadable list and it goes into all the aggregators. It goes into DomCop, goes into expireddomains.net. It goes there because it's public. Mm -hmm. And it's public for Google too. So every domain that enters GoDaddy auction, Google for now doesn't put this as a flag that uh, the owner might have changed and it might be a potential PBN right. in the future. But in the future, this may change because sure. you never know. It's, it's too easy. It's just as easy as the creation that they, they all are already implemented. Mm -hmm. So we never know. And actually, the auctions might one, one day get flagged, of course, not only because of this, but with other uh, uh, combined with other factors, let's say if it was in GoDaddy auction, and if it's a WordPress, and if it has, uh, let's say, uh, gambling content, and if it has outgoing links, then maybe a Google editor will come to ch check what's going on. You know, gotcha. these kind of scenarios are possible. So I I consider CCTLD domain safer because Google uh, doesn't have a lot of data to start any investigations from there. Everything right. is super super messy and super hidden. Mm -hmm. So that that's uh, why uh, one of the reasons why we massively put our bet on CCTLDs in regards to catching and selling. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, the other reason is that CCTLDs we can get cheaper compared to auction domains which go for market price. Right. But I think that CCTLDs, uh, some CCTLDs are friendly to the US market, like .io, .me, yeah. .2, .la cool. for used in Los Angeles, uh, and others can be used in the US market. So uh, still, you're not only uh, tied to .coms forever. There are options. And uh, I think that uh, this dividing into sectors is crucial to understanding the expired domains industry, that you have country domains, which are good, you have auction domains, which are good, very good for now, but we don't know the future because Google can actually see what domain was an option quite easily if they wanted to. And we have the drop domains that Google already took the steps to develop. Mm -hmm. So as far as dot coms go for your own business, you kind of see it as a, a pretty risky um, investment for the future. We don't do auctions, but we do have some dot coms that you can find on SEO domains. And this is they are we are a private partnership with the registrar. So they are actually technically absolutely the same as uh, domains in GoDaddy auctions and Namejet and the other auctions, but with the only slight difference that they were never in a public list. Okay. Because okay. We, we have a deal with the registrar, can we just buy out privately the good domains from you because, because then you won't have to build auctions and stuff. Right. And they were fine and we do this. So, uh, so these are actually another very good type for the future. Mm -hmm, if awesome. you could get private, of course you can do this uh, with all domains. You can just go to the to the domain owner and say, "Hey, your domain is expiring. Do you want five hundred dollars because I find the value more?" And then you get an amazing domain for five hundred dollars, which may have thousands of links. People right. have been doing this, and they are still doing it. And this is a very good approach, of course. Uh, I can uh, only say that this is one of the best ways you can get a domain. We're not doing it because we're too lazy, basically, but it's a, a very a very good approach that you can do to get something below market price. But apart from this, uh, the dot coms in the future may become more risky than they are now. Yeah, so I guess uh, people might rely on companies such as yours that are, are buying them uh, before they go on any kind of public list. So right. uh, could even end up being good for you. Yeah, good positioning. <laughs> yes, uh, we feel that we're well positioned, but uh, only the future will tell. Gotcha. <laughs> sure.
Well, yeah. I think that's cool. about it, Callan. Um, yeah, we really yeah. appreciate you taking the time. Yeah. Um, do you do you want to end on anything? Would you like uh, to say anything particularly to uh, to the viewers? Um, or anyone you want to shout out or plug? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> well, I was just at uh, Chiang Mai yeah, how, yeah, I would like to have uh, to say uh, uh, great words for Matt Diggity, mm -hmm. uh, the organizer, all the people who took part and all the attendees. It's an amazing community that's forming there. So I hope to see you next year there. For sure. <laughs> Again. For sure. We'll be out there. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. And cool. hope to see you there too. <laughs> yeah. We're, we've got it all next year. Yeah, we do have we're, it all We're doing it next out. year. It's happening. <laughs>